much. Politico with this. The Hunter Biden case is solid. There's something rotten about it, too. Unless something very surprising happens, the jury is likely to convict Biden in a matter of days. End quote. In focus now, former assistant district attorney and retired police officer Phil Holloway. How much damage did the ex-women in Hunter Biden's life do on the stand, if any at all, yesterday, Phil? Well, great to be with you, Harris. Listen, I think if the jury's paying attention to the presentation that the prosecutors are putting on, the presentation that's occurring in the front of the courtroom, these witnesses did a lot of damage to Hunter Biden. Look, it's obvious that at the relevant time when he bought that gun, he was both addicted to drugs and he was also an unlawful user of drugs, particularly, I think, crack cocaine being the big one. But here's the thing, Harris. There's another presentation that's taking place in that courtroom, and it's for the benefit of the jury. The presence of the first lady, the presence of the rest mm -hmm. of the Biden family, all that stuff is there for the jury to see. The defense has orchestrated it for the benefit of the jury. They're trying to evoke sympathy. This is in the, the Biden's backyard. There's bound to be people on that jury who have great affection for at least some of the Biden, some of the Bidens, perhaps even Jill Biden. And so this is an effort to get jury nullification, which is, of course, when the jury says, OK, maybe he's he's guilty. The evidence yeah. is there, but we're going to give him a pass anyway. That's they have the power to do it. The lawyers cannot directly ask for it but they're doing it in the way that you see playing out in the courtroom. Yeah, I, I'm so glad you brought up the family members who just arrived a short time ago as the case was put to rest by the prosecutors because, yes, they could have some sort of affection for them having been neighbors or, or just, you know, state mates since it's, it's in his home state, but also the idea of just how much power they wield. You know, this isn't just a stepmom. This is the first lady of the United States, and that power also... Uh, comes into play here. In fact, I, I had someone on social media ask me a question, and I, I think that we pay regardless of what this is. But the question was, if this is something personal, this trial, are tax dollars going to to fly uh, Jill Biden in time for the for the resting of the case today? I mean, it, it, it's an interesting question, but I think as taxpayers, we pay anyway. Uh, Hunter's infamous laptop, front and center at the trial. A new headline, Hunter Biden laptop reemerges as media embarrassment as it becomes key evidence in the gun trial, CNN, MSNBC, The New York Times, The Washington Post, among a slew of news outlets that peddled the Russia inf a disinformation narrative. Let's watch. This classic uh, textbook, uh, Soviet Russian uh, tradecraft at work. Looks like a classic Russian playbook disinformation campaign. The U.S. authorities are seeing if those emails we just talked about are connected to an ongoing Russian disinformation effort. It is so obviously a Russian operation. Hunter Biden, this laptop uh, that intelligence mm -hmm. officials have warned are, is likely Russian disinformation. Ongoing Russian disinformation effort. An ongoing Russian disinformation effort. Jonathan Turley with a new op-ed, laptop deniers conspired to make Hunter Biden news disappear. They can't now. The reappearance of the laptop in court might be awkward for most people, but not the media or intelligence officials or politicians who push the conspiracy theory. After all, they were all in on the trick. It was the voters who were played for chumps. Uh, your reaction to that? Well, now that we've had an FBI agent authenticate this laptop, and by the way, that's wh what it means to authenticate evidence. You've got to bring in witnesses or sufficient uh, other evidence to prove that the item is what the prosecutors purport it to be, in this case, the actual laptop. So it's now been fully verifi verified, fully authenticated. And so what you see here is you see the media happily going along with parroting the propaganda that was generated by the Biden campaign. I think this thing was tied to Anthony Blinken, actually. That's who got the, the former uh, intel people to sign off on that letter, right? So this is pure propaganda. But more than that, what we had was we had um, censorship. Americans could not post on social media about it. Facebook wouldn't let you. Xbook would Xbox. Uh, no, from X, experience. Twitter wouldn't let you do it. Yeah, and so we were censored, and we were not allowed in Soviet style to even share information that, uh, you know, and this is Soviet style, I think, election interference tactics, if, if anything, but it came from the Biden camp, and it was all coordinated. Uh, real quickly, uh, yes or no, prison time, depending on how this shakes out, if he's found guilty. 
Well, I think he might get a little bit. In the federal system, I think if you, uh, if you have a trial and you don't take responsibility, I think the guidelines are going to call for a little bit, but it won't be much. But here's the thing, Harris, it won't be until later. He'll have to come back for a sentencing hearing. And then if he gets right. time, they, uh, <laughs> they can extend that out probably to the period after the election when one way or another, Joe Biden is a lame duck. And then, of course, he can pardon him before he goes to jail. Yeah, what's interesting, though, is that that's exactly what they thought would happen with Donald Trump. They were hoping that things would get so drawn out. Uh, and, and they have to a certain degree. Um, but now you've got this going on. We'll cover it stem to stern. Always appreciate your expertise, Phil. Thank you. Happy to be here. Thank you.